Solve each trigonometric equation over the domain where x is between 0 and 2 pi. In part a, solve cos 2x plus 7 sin x minus 4 equals 0. Rewrite the original equation. Cos 2x is equivalent to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Collect like terms. Multiply both sides by negative 1. Factor. Solve 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides. Divide both sides by 2 to get sine x equals 1 half. The solution is x equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Now solve sine x minus 3 equals 0. Add 3 to both sides to get sine x equals 3. There is no solution to this equation. The solution is x equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. In part b, solve sine 2x minus cosine x equals 0. Rewrite the original equation. Sine 2x is equivalent to 2 sine x cos x. Factor out cos x. Solve cos x equals 0. The solution is x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now solve 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides to get 2 sine x equals 1. Divide both sides by 2 to get sine x equals 1 half. The solution is x equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Combine the results to get x equals pi over 6, pi over 2, 5 pi over 6, and 3 pi over 2. In part c, solve sine of pi over 3 plus x minus sine of pi over 3 minus x equals 1. Rewrite the original equation. Expand using the sum and difference identities for sine. Find the exact value of each trigonometric ratio. Distribute the negative through the brackets. Collect like terms to get sine x equals 1. The solution is x equals pi over 2. In part d, solve sine x cos x equals 1 over 4. Rewrite the original equation. We know that sine 2x equals 2 sine x cos x. If we divide each side by 2, we get 1 over 2 sine 2x equals sine x cos x.
Replace sine x cos x with 1 half sine 2x. Multiply both sides by 2 to isolate sine 2x. This gives us sine 2x equals 1 half. We can solve a double angle equation algebraically with the following steps. First, solve sine x equals 1 half. This gives us x equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. Next, the graph of y equals sine 2x is horizontally stretched by a factor of 1 half, so have the solutions from step 1. This gives us x equals pi over 12 and 5 pi over 12. The graph of y equals sine 2x occurs twice in the domain where x is between 0 and 2 pi, so sine 2x equals 1 half has four solutions. Find the remaining solutions by adding the period of sine 2x, pi, to the first two solutions. This gives us 13 pi over 12 and 17 pi over 12. Combine the results to get the solution x equals pi over 12, 5 pi over 12, 13 pi over 12, and 17 pi over 12.